I want to talk to you about a concept from TheraPlay. It's called structure in parenting. And the TheraPlay model has four dimensions of effective parenting. And one of them is structure. And then there's engagement, nurture, and challenge. And I'll be talking about each of them in the segments. Structure is a way of being with children that's organized. And it doesn't necessarily mean that you have a clean and organized room or even an organized schedule in a day. It means that when your movements and your speaking manner are rhythmic and have a beginning and end to them and have clear messages in them and that your movements also are flowing and make sense when you're communicating with kids and when you're around kids. So I'm going to give you an example. If you're going to tell a child what we're going to do today, you might say something like, first, we're going to pick up your brother, then we're going to go to grandma's house, and then we're going to go to the ice cream store. And those are three packets of information. And if you noticed, I used my hand and I am punctuated with my hand to show what the sequence is. And to a kid, the first thing they want to know is, do I understand this? Does this make sense? And it is a point of, it's a sense of security when they understand what somebody's saying, what an adult is saying and what's going on. And as adults, we have a tendency to use run on sentences, talk too much and not be really clear in our communication. And so structure also has to do with how you communicate with kids and some of the very best teachers of this way of speaking are kindergarten teachers. Yeah because they always, the best kindergarten teachers, how do they have command of 25 five-year-olds? You wonder, right? And it's because they typically have a very organized way of, of doing many things and everything. Uh, they have a plan for the day and their room is organized, but they also have a clear mind when they're speaking to the kids about what they're supposed to be doing next and what the kids' choices are. They communicate them without run on sentences and without a monotonous sort of voice, but a punctuated voice. And one of their secrets is that they sing during transitions. And, you know, as annoying as the song, uh, the cleanup song from Barney from way back when is like, clean up, clean up, everybody do your share. It's less so the words and more so that with the rhythm, there's movements and a human is trained to go along with rhythm. It's as if we have no choice. It's, it's as if we just flow into the rhythm of whatever the content is within the movement. So we're going towards the sink and we're all washing our hands and it's a song. Let's go wash our hands. Let's go wash our hands. Everybody follow. Let's go wash our hands. And that is a secret. So you don't have to sing everything, but if you can make something into something rhythmic, that's really great structure and it'll help you to get the child to follow along with you.